सिंटेक्स फॉर प्रिपोजिशन लॉजिक्स सो बेसिकली देर आर थ्री मेजर सिंटेक्स फॉर प्रिपोजिशन लॉजिक सिंबॉल ट्रूथ सिंबॉल एंड कनेक्टिव नाउ कमिंग टू द फर्स्ट दैट इज सिंबॉल सो बेसिकली देर आर फाइव टाइप ऑफ सिंबॉल्स इन प्रिपोजिशन लॉजिक्स प्रिपोजिशनल कैलकुलस सिंबॉल्स लाइक पी एंड क्यू सो वॉट आर दिस प्रिपोजिशनल कैलकुलस सिंबॉल पी एंड क्यू यू कैन रिप्रेजेंट एनी एलिमेंट विथ एन विथ गिवन एंटिटीज लाइक पी एंड क्यू सपोज I am representing Ram with P, or uh, suppose I am representing Gita with Q, and if I am combining these statements, then I can represent these name or any objects with some given symbols. Then that symbols are called prepositional calculus symbol. Now, second type of symbol is predicate symbol that are used to represent relationship. So when these predicate symbols are used, these predicate symbols are used when we want to represent some relationship how suppose deepu reads a book then reads deepu comma book so this read is a relationship between deepu and the book deepu is one entity and book is another entity so how we are going to relate these two entities like deepu is just a name of a person and book it is another entity so how we are going to join these two entity with a read so read here read is a relationship so predicate symbol are used to represent relationship like there are there can be more relationship deepu eats mango so we can write eats deepu comma mango so predicate symbol it represent relationships now coming to the third type of symbol that are constant symbol like here deepu and book are constant symbols like reads suppose read was there and we can say ram comma english so ram reads english or you can say ram reads newspaper so here deepu and book are constants because here the value of deepu and book book are not going to change because deepu will be going to remain deepu and book will remain will be going to remain book now coming to the fourth type of symbol that is variable symbol like reads x comma y in place of deepu comma book we can place new elements like we can say reads x comma y now here or uh, in place of x and y we can place any number of values like ram reads newspaper ram reads magazine shyam reads book so like x values can be changed and y value can also be changed so whose values can be changed are variable symbols now fifth type of symbol is functional symbol functional symbol like here function is reads because here reads in bracket there are two elements like deepu and book so it is one complete function because reads deepu comma book so it is one complete function reads break in bracket there are two element element 1 x1 and element 2 y1 so there are two elements in this function now coming to the second type of syntax for preposition logic that is truth symbols like truth or false like truth and false can be in some relative manner if i say i am considering a model in which everything is negative so if i say sky is a blue then it is a false statement why because i am considering considering it in a negative sense in negative model and suppose if i am considering in truth symbol then if i says sky is blue then it is true now coming to the third type of syntax that is connectives so basically there are five connectives in preposition logics that are and or not if by conditions when this and symbol is used like if i said ram is a boy and he is well mannered so how i am going to represent these two statement with the help of and connectivities i can also say sky is blue or red so how i can say sky is blue or red with the using of or symbol now coming to the third connectivities connectives that is not suppose there is a statement i am playing i am playing and suppose before this statement i apply this negotiation symbol then what 
from this statement it can be referred i am not playing so when this if connectivity is used suppose there is a statement if it rains then ram become happy so like if this statement was there if it rains then ram become happy so how we can represent this in form of connectives we can write it rains implies ram become happy so if symbol when it can be used when there are two condition when if it if it rains then only ram becomes happy so uh, if it rains then only ram will become happy it is not like that if it is not raining then also ram will become happy so here are the statements if it rains then ram become happy fifth connectivity that is by condition so when this by condition symbols are used suppose there is a statement ram eats ice cream and becomes happy so here it is a statements ram become happy when eats ice cream so now from these from this statement it is like when it when he eats ice cream then already he is going to be happy or if ram is happy then it can also be referred that he is eating ice cream or he has ate ice cream so how we can uh, how when this by conditional statements or connectivities are used when they are both side dependent on each other when ram eats ice cream he becomes happy or when ram is happy it can be referred that he is eating ice cream thank you